everyone has something to give. I feel like um, if it's not your house, then it's your time. And if you know it's not your time, then it's your clothes. Um, and there's always something that you can find to give away half of, um, whether that's half of your Saturday or half of the time that you watch TV or um, you know ha half of the clothes in your closet. The first thing that I would say to a teen that came to me and said, what do I do, I want to get started, is I would say, test a bunch of different things. So maybe you uh, try going to a cancer clinic one day and you don't, you don't really like that, that's not really your thing. And then maybe you decide to go to an old person home and maybe that's not really for you. And then you try to go to a soup kitchen. That's kind of the things that um, we first tell people to, to try to do when they, when they come to us not knowing which direction to go in, is test your options. And then I would try to say, you know, set out a schedule. Where do you have time? Where do you have money? You know, what is the resource that you're really um, focused on and then I would try to I would say share it with other people you know get other people involved um, maybe that's your family maybe that's your dorm maybe that's your friends and um, or your youth group even and you um, get other people involved and do a project together a lot of my friends have started their own half projects um, one of my really good friend Blaze um, decided to give away half of her babysitting money to an environmental organization um, my friend Aubrey decided to clean out half of her closet and um, give that to Goodwill and um, you know we've had a lot of really great reactions and uh, people have been really supportive. Everyone does have something that they can afford to give away half of whether that's time, talent or money. Um, I encourage people to just find their half and really um, decide what they want to do.